This video is designed to show you how to navigate the online learning system at Darton State College. The online classrooms at Darton State are housed in our Georgia View system. To log into your online classes, start at the Darton State College homepage, www.darton.edu. Move your mouse to the upper right hand corner of the screen and click Online Courses. There are a number of resources on the login page, such as a password finder and a link to the Georgia View Knowledge Base, which has a lot of helpful information about using the system. To log in, you will use your same username and password that you use to log into MyDC. The first page that you come to is your online homepage. You are not yet in an online class. On this page, you can get campus-wide announcements, such as instructions for logging into the Online Writing Center, as well as start dates and other important deadlines for the semester. Let me show you a couple of important links that you will find no matter where you are within our online learning system. Across the very top menu bar, you will see a link to My Home, which will always bring you back to this online learning homepage. There are also links to our Georgia View email system, the calendar tool, and on the right side of the screen, there's a logout and help link. Across the bottom of every screen in Georgia View are resources that the college offers, such as tech support, online student support information, course policies, proctored testing policies, and more. On the right side of the online learning homepage screen, you will see a box labeled My Settings. Here you can add profile information, set preferences, and set notification settings. Below that box is the events window. This window will list assignment dates from your classes. You can see a much more detailed version of this by clicking on the calendar tool along the top menu bar at the top of the screen. Here, a list of your assignments from each class is available. Be sure that each of your classes are selected on the list on the left side of the screen. Otherwise, assignments from the classes that are not selected will not be shown on your calendar. Note that depending on the settings your instructor uses for assignments, some assignments may not be listed on the calendar at all, so be sure to keep up with due dates as assigned by your instructor. Remember, you can return to the online homepage by clicking My Home in the top left corner of the screen. On the left side of the screen is a window labeled My Courses. This box will list the courses that you are enrolled in that have an online component. If your class does not have an online component, you will not see it listed here. You can enter a course by clicking on its hyperlink. Each course page may be structured a little differently by each instructor, but the basic tools will all be the same. The events window on the lower right portion of the screen now lists only the upcoming due dates for the course that you are entered in. These dates are only active if the assignment is listed in the course calendar, so this may not always be the most reliable way to keep up with each and every due assignment. There are three primary ways to navigate a Georgia View classroom. The best way is to use the content map. To reach this map, click on content on the menu bar across the top of the screen below the Darton State College logo. The content map is essentially an outline of all of the elements of the course. The course is divided into modules, Within each module are resources for you to use, such as PowerPoint and links to helpful videos, module overviews, assignment drop boxes, quizzes, and or discussion boards. Each of these resources has clickable links on this content map. Another way to navigate Georgia View is by using the content browser on the course homepage. Your content browser window is located in the upper left portion of the screen. You can click through and see the contents of each module through this screen. I can click on these folders to get to the resources for each module. For example, I can click the syllabus module to find my course syllabus. I can click here on course content to get a list of content modules. If I click here on the world of online learning, I can see specific resources for that portion of the class. Finally, you can get to individual Dropbox assignments or discussion boards by using the links along the menu bar that runs across the screen just below the Darton State College logo. This is not an efficient way to access your assignments because these links are not necessarily in the order in which assignments are due. However, we did want you to be aware that these links are available. The Course Home link will always bring you back to your Course Home page. Don't confuse this with the My Home link, which is in the very top left corner of the screen. The My Home link, again, takes you back to the online learning home page outside of your classes. Content, as we just demonstrated, will take you to the content map. Discussions are discussion board postings. 
These are used in nearly every class that is offered online at Darton. When you click on the link, you will see a list of discussion topics. By clicking on the topic link, that will take you to the discussion board itself. Note that some courses are set up so that you cannot see other classmates' posts until you have posted your own thoughts to the discussion board. You can post a new message by clicking Start a New Thread. After you've typed your subject and the body of your post, be sure to click Submit in the lower right-hand corner of the window. You can read messages posted by your instructor and peers by clicking on the subject hyperlink on the list in the center of the screen. Each thread may also contain replies that you can see after clicking on the subject hyperlink. When you click on a link, you have the option to reply to that specific message, and your message will show up connected to that initial post. Many classes require that you post your own message and respond to several of your classmates. It's a good idea to log into your class several times during the week so that you can post to the discussion and respond to classmates. If everyone waits until the last minute to post a message, nobody will have time to respond before the due date. The Dropbox tool is used to submit assignments. Each assignment has a hyperlink below. Be sure to read the instructions carefully. Depending on your instructor's directions, you can type messages into the comment box and or type in a Word document and attach it to the Dropbox. Some assignments will contain attached documents for you to use in completing your assignment. When you're ready to attach your completed document, click Add File. Then, in the pop-up window, click Choose File and locate the document that you created on your computer. Then click the Upload button in the right corner of the window. The pop-up will disappear, but you still must click Submit in the bottom right corner to ensure that your assignment is turned in. The Quizzes tool is a way to take quizzes or tests within the classroom, if your instructor requires that. Links to the quizzes or tests will be available here. You will click on the link for the appropriate quiz, then click Start Quiz. For many quizzes, you only get one attempt, so be sure that you're ready to complete the entire quiz when you start. You will then be able to answer the questions. It's recommended that you click Save at the bottom of each question as you complete your answer. On the left side of the screen, the icon will light up under each number to demonstrate that an answer has been stored. At the end of the quiz, click Save All Responses, then go to Submit Quiz. The pop-up window will ask if you're sure that you want to submit, click Yes when you're ready. The class list icon will show you who else is in your class. You can click the box next to a student's name, then click on the email icon at the top of the list to send a message to a classmate. The grades icon takes you to the gradebook. You can see completed grades here after they have been released by your instructor. GeorgiaView uses a different email system than MyDC or any other external email service like Yahoo or Gmail. To use the GeorgiaView mail tool, you can click on email at the very top of any screen. You will then see your inbox. You can filter your inbox by class or show all incoming mail by using the drop down menu near the center of the screen. Much like the discussion tool, you can click on a subject link to read a message and then click the reply button. You can begin a new message by clicking Compose. When you start a new message, you must use the address book to send your email to someone within the system. Click on Address Book. Your address book is also filtered by class. Click on the box next to the recipient's name, then click the small 2 hyperlink at the top of the list. Then click Add Recipients. You then type in your subject line and the main message itself. When you're ready to send, Click Send. Please note that messages sent within GeorgiaView only go to another GeorgiaView email. You cannot email from GeorgiaView to an external email account. Now you're all set to use Darton State College's GeorgiaView online learning system. If you have questions along the way, don't hesitate to ask your instructor. You can also use the tech support and online student support links at the bottom of each page in GeorgiaView.